How that idea has worked. So now when you reflect on, on the, uh, you think about you know, some of the key moments that happened. Is there any, like, like an aha moment that you want to share with us that you never expected it to happen, but it happened in a positive I tell you, what I realized, and many of you, I mean, many of you people who are in business school and other public facing spaces, I realized that actually when I was in the Yatra, the Yatra was speaking on its own. So I realized that I was there, but pretty much everything that was coming out of my mouth was actually coming from the Yatra, not from me. Right? So there were thousands of people, they were telling me things that was going out of this thing, right? they were telling me things, and then their words were coming out of my mouth. So I was not communicating as Rahul. I was communicating as the B, as, as the Yatra was communicating. And it took me a little while to figure this out. Because first I was like, oh, I am giving a speech. And I have this idea. And I am going to see this. But then suddenly it started to occur to me that every single thing coming out of my mouth is actually things people have said to me. And the most beautiful uh, example of this was this uh, slogan that came, which is Nafrat ke bazaar mein mohabbat ki dukaan thun right? But the slogan did not come, it was not my slogan. Right? It was not even a slogan of the organizers. It was a guy who came, I saw him, and he was walking with us, and there was a rope which used to surround us, and he was trying to come in, and he couldn't come in. The police would beat him. So I saw him once there, and then I saw him somewhere else. And then I told Alankar who was standing there, I said, Oh, let's go. Leah. So anyway, Alankar went looking for him, he had disappeared. Then after some time he came out, he, he charged through the police and then he pointed at me like that. And he said, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. So I said, What are you doing? He said, I'm not going to be able to do it. And when I was to visit on me, this is the sentiment of the crowd that is speaking. And so that would happen again and again. It would happen sometime. Well, once it happened when a uh, woman came up to me, held my hand, is walking. And I could feel that something was wrong with the way she was holding my hand. So I said, what She said, Who will I saw my He said, I'm going to so I said, Matla, she said, Ning, abhi mujhe maada tha, mein bhaag ke aane. So I said, to kya dhan? So I said, police wala ko pata hai? She said, nahin, nahin, police wala ko pata hai. I said, kyun? She said, or maare ka. Now, that's a sentiment of thousands and thousands, I realize, like, that's a sentiment of thousands and thousands of women. That they're being mistreated, they're being treated violently, but they can't say anything, it's him. Right? So now when I'm speaking to you right now, I'm saying these things to you, it's not me. It's that girl who's saying it to you. I just transmitted it. So that's the job, in my view, of a politician. Is to listen to sentiment, to understand sentiment deeply, and then to give it to other people. Right? Like I can see the faces here of the women versus the men. And when I'm saying that, I can see the faces of the women are different. They're reacting completely differently to what I said because they're understanding that. They're like, oh yeah, I, I've been through that before, right? So, so that's the idea. The idea is not that Rahul Gandhi has some fantastic vision for the country and now he's going to project the vision to the country. The idea is what is the country saying? What is the country feeling? <laughs> in, in our system, I always used to wonder why this idea of sort of Annihilation of the person. You know, if you look at Mahatma Gandhi, you see him, um, you see him in a sense destroying himself. You know, when he's in, in university, if you see his pictures, they're very nice suit, very nice hair comb. Uh, and then slowly you start to see that those things start to fall away. His clothes fall away, his, you know, his fancy suits fall away, everything falls away. So there's sort of almost a, a destruction of the person taking place. And you can see his, 
you can see this in in many of our leaders. And the reason it's happening is because the person is actually dying, and the voice of other people is taking over. Okay, I don't know. I'll give you an example. Do uh, you know what devta means in the term devta? Do you know what it means? Yes. yes. No. What? No. It doesn't mean God. The deity. No. It doesn't mean the deity. So devta in in India actually means a person whose internal feelings are exactly the same as his external expression. Meaning he is a completely transparent being. Right? It does not mean God. So if, if this person tells me every single thing that he believes or he thinks and he tells it to me, that's the definition of Devta. Right? It's the idea that you destroy yourself. Right? Um, so to me that is interesting about our politics. How do you how do you suppress your own ideas? Right? How do you suppress your own fear or how do you suppress your own greed or how do you suppress your own ambition and absorb other people's fear 